항상 처음 설레이지 너 보러 가는 길도 마치 구름 위지 너에게 하고 싶은 말을 생각하다가 나 이렇게 나가 바보라는 것을 알게 되었어 저 바보같이 머리부터 발끝까지 콩깍지 Hello everyone, it's Lynn again. I am in my bedroom. I don't know what you're thinking. Wow, the bedroom, Lynn. So spi spice, spicy. <laughs> well, actually, I've been emotionally and physically decomposing, just rotting away in this bed for the entirety of today. It's literally almost 5.30 p.m. It's dark outside because it's winter. Seasonal depression is very much real right now. And to be honest, did I plan on doing anything today? No, because I am not well. Don't worry, I'm fine. But you know, I'm not well, but I'm fine. You know what I mean? You know what, my room's a mess. It's a big mess, it's been a mess, and I need my physical environment to not be a mess because everything else in my life is already so cluttered and disorganized and chaotic. If there's one thing that needs to be put together right now, it's my physical environment. And also, my hair, I woke up like this, literally. I did nothing to style it or blow dry it or put any product in it. I just magically woke up with perfect hair today, and I can't let a perfect hair day go to waste since, you know, it's never too late in a day to start your day if you really need to get shit done. So here we are, we're gonna clean my room and organize because it's been a long time coming. I did a bedroom makeover not too long ago, and I feel like each space that I live in, it always grows better with time. It's like a good wine! or fungus, I don't know. So I have little mini decoration updates, storage solutions that I wanna add to my room. Pulling myself together. Peace signing my way through the emotional damage. All right, our first duty is to get rid of all the laundry. I'm gonna sort everything into piles of what needs to be washed and what just needs to be hung up. Put everything into baskets. I'm gonna strip down the sheets and wash all of it. So let's get on into it. All the dirty laundry is going into this pink basket and then everything that just needs to be hung up is gonna go on my bed. When I travel, especially when I'm traveling many times in a row consecutively, I am so bad with unpacking my suitcase. This is from Thanksgiving when I visited my friend Lincoln's family in Florida. I honestly was living my best life because I've been wearing a lot of black and gray and white and browns, maybe a little bit of green in DC, but in Florida I wore so much color, which I really miss doing. But these are all the clean clothes that I didn't end up wearing, I think. We're gonna unpack that and put the suitcase away too. Yo, my nail just fell off. Wait, that's so sad. No, RIP, my nails, where did it go? Wait, that's so tragic. I really like this set. Aww. Rest in peace, checkered nail. You will be missed. <laughs> On any social medias yet, but instead of photo of me wearing it here, I look really good in this top. But I've kind of forgotten it existed because it kind of was just decomposing on my floor underneath a lot of other clothes. How would I get here? I kill my One of my favorite purchases of 2022 is this belt holder, also a tie holder, and I found it at the Georgetown Flea Market for like $6, maybe seven. I did whittle them down from like 10, and I've been a big accessory gal over this past year. I've collected so many belts and ties, and most of them are actually secondhand. Like this pearl tie, which I feel like kind of my signature accessory now, I got from Etsy. Ta-da! shirt since high school. Oh, I still love it. Oh, this is so wrinkly. 
Oh shit. I'm like 95% sure my body is <laughs> somewhere in between these sheets. So let me remove it. Anyways. <laughs> Next up, while we're waiting for all the laundry to wash and dry, I'm going to organize my very, very messy makeup collection. Since I've lived on my own since I moved to DC in 2020, my makeup has been in these boxes. And I'm very fortunate that I receive quite a bit of beauty PR. And don't get me wrong, don't stop sending me those because I love trying new products, experimenting with my looks, but I have no organizational system and it's kind of getting hectic. There is some old makeup in there and I'm, I'm just saying that I will use expired makeup. I do. I mean, come on. Like, where is it? This eyeshadow palette from M Cosmetics, I've had since high school. And I'm not gonna throw it away until I can see my reflection in each of the pans. Every single shadow has to be empty. I'm gonna sort through everything, and that'll obviously help me create eye looks and be more creative with my makeup when I can see everything I own in a flat lay. Plus, my beautiful mid-century drawer set over here. My favorite piece of furniture in my house, I think. There's a hidden drawer on top that actually has a perfect flat lay. And I also have these clear acrylic boxes that's gonna compartmentalize everything more. So also, I got myself a giant bowl of grapes. If there's one thing I always have the stomach for that I'm never full for, it's, it's fruit. All the Asian moms and dads out there who cut their kids fruit as a kind gesture when they're studying or when they're trying to like offer a flag of truce when they just got into an argument. Yeah, I took that for granted because now I have to wash and cut fruit just for myself and it's a little sad. Hello everyone, I just finished organizing everything. It was so chaotic. It was like way more time consuming than I thought it'd be. The Sephora bag that's been holding half my makeup for the past two years is filled with trash. I still need to wash my makeup brushes and organize like my daily makeup, but first, we're gonna take a dinner break because I am hungry. Ah. Heating up some leftover ganjul, which is literally Vietnamese soup sour is how it translates. I made this for the first time for my friends three days ago, two days ago, and it's so good and easy to make. I thought it'd be way harder. It has tamarind in it and tomatoes, pineapple. It usually has okra, but I forgot to put the okra in. Fish, I put shrimp in. I top it with bean sprouts and sawtooth coriander and Thai basil usually. If you don't eat basil, this is your PSA from Lynn yours truly to grow the fuck up and eat your goddamn herbs, bro. Oh, it's so yummy. It's up and it's from my side. Maybe a picnic for us to unwind. When we touch, she said, can I? Yeah. 
now almost midnight but I'm still going and I'm a little hungry so I'm gonna eat this banana essentially when I was planning this video I'm like what is my room missing that I need and I'm about to build a clothing rack that I've had in my possession months now and I just haven't gone around to constructing it I've been meaning to get a clothing rack because it's really useful for when I want to film any outfit videos what's missing on this level are plants and I have so many plants downstairs but I can't really have plants up here because the light just does not reach the same way even when I had my snake plant up here it just was not doing well and I did paint this room green because I couldn't have plants here but clearly this green is not enough for me I was like okay I'm gonna do it I'm gonna buy some big fake plants to put in this room and yes it's just gonna be one more thing I need to dust all right Plant number one. I don't know which one this is. So it's gonna be a surprise for both of us. Oh, it's a fiddly fig. Dang, it's like a second Christmas tree. So this fake one is so cute, actually. And I'm gonna put them on either side of the room. Wow. It is 1.30 a.m. And I'm pretty happy with the room. There's one more thing I want to do. I'm gonna print out a bunch of photos and stick them on this wall right here. I feel like the one thing missing about this room is that it doesn't feel out with memories. And I don't mind that. I guess like there's other parts of my apartment where there's a lot more photos. It feels a little bit empty despite like what shit I've put in here. <laughs> without those photos. So I'm gonna print them out using the Canon Ivy printer. I have been sponsored by Canon in the past and I'm not sponsored to say this now, but it's honestly one of my favorite products from this year because it's been so handy for printing out photos and it's inkless. I'm just connecting it with my phone and then I'm gonna print out a bunch of cute photos and stick them on the wall. <laughs> organizing and revamping my room. I am so tired. It is 2 a.m. Every fiber of my being is exhausted. I don't know why I thought this was a good idea. Insert some cute little b-roll of what the room looks like before all gross and then all cleaned up and dazzled up. Thank you y'all for watching this video. I hope you are motivated 
to do something. Or maybe you're just still procrastinating, which is okay too. I do that all the time and it's part of life. Let me know if you want to see more chill videos like this where I spontaneously decide to rearrange my room and clean and organize. I hope everyone is having a good final season because I'm assuming a lot of y'all are still in final season. Couldn't be me. Couldn't be me. I, I'm out of there for now. But I hope everyone had a good start to December and that you're ready to get plenty of rest throughout the holiday season. I'll see y'all in the next video. Thank you for watching as always. I love you. Bye bye. Look at me.